What we're looking at here is bringing the uh, first stage of our Delta II rocket into the tower, and they're getting ready to erect that for uh, assembly on the pad. What you can see is we're using the, the mobile service tower, the, the Delta Complex 17 pad has a mobile and a fixed portion. Uh, this is the mobile tower, and they're using the crane at the top to pick the first stage up. And you can see that they're, they're picking it up with the crane up top, and then they will, just a second, you'll see they'll drive the tower forward to help erect it and get the stage to a vertical configuration. That's what you're looking at now is the drive wheels on the bottom of the mobile tower. And what they do is they get that, that first stage vertical. You can see it's almost there now, and they'll get it mounted down on the launch mounts. Now you're looking at it now with the first stage erected and bolted down to the launch mounts. And uh, we'll start assembling the rest of the rocket around that now. So that's the launcher they're actually fixing it on to. That's correct. And what you're seeing here is the they're lifting up the first of the solid motors. Uh, this is a 7925 rocket, which means it's a Delta II with uh, nine solids. They also have a three and a four solid configuration. And what they do is they take the solid motors and they again pick them up with the tower crane and they mount them on the mobile service tower and then you'll see in a few minutes they will after they, they get about three at a time they will take that tower and roll it up around the vehicle and, and transfer the solid motors from the service tower onto the rocket where they'll be bolted on for a launch and what you're seeing now is you got three mounted onto the service tower in a minute you'll see that rolling up and around the vehicle this is all part of the build they have to do that three times they do three at a time and we've got nine this time and we have there's actually two different flavors of, uh, of solid motors. You have the ground lit, six of them light on the ground when the rocket launches, and then when those burn out, you light the other three, and they put all the all nine of those on. So that's what's happening for this launch tonight. Correct. You can see the tower moving up now. If you look at the rocket, you see there's no solids on it yet. So this is the first set of three that they're getting ready to put on. That they are. It comes in very close. There's not a whole lot of clearances, but they bring those. Those that the solids in and around, and then transfer them onto the vehicle, and then roll the tower back and get three more. We had some challenges getting this far this time because we had some problems with the crane a little bit, but we got past them and got the rocket built up. What you're looking at now is the second stage of our rocket. It's uh, being lifted up the side of the tower, and they will pick it up and then they will mount it on top of the the rocket. Uh, they carry kind of up and over through the the payload area. It's up at about the top of the tower right now. And then they'll bring it and translate it across and drop it down into the top of the rocket. And actually what you're putting it into is it actually melts to, makes what's called the inner stage, which is basically a, a long cylinder, which allows room for that engine sticking down so it doesn't get banged on by the first stage when the rocket's performing. They're lowering it down now and getting it close uh, to the rocket. And then what'll happen is uh, in a minute you'll see we'll, we'll open the payload and that's where it bolts is right to the top of that second stage. This is where we start getting serious. We're bringing this spacecraft out, and this is usually, we leave the, the, the payload processing facility usually around midnight to avoid the bad weather and the winds are calm, and we bring it out early in the morning. Usually the, the spacecraft is up and on the rocket by like five or six in the morning. So they've got it at the base of the pad. You see it's in a metal canister, which is wrapped in plastic for contamination reasons, and uh, they attach it again to the crane and they pick it up the side of the tower. You, if you look real close, you'll see there's actually rails there to help uh, uh, give you protection from winds. It kind of controls it a little bit. They get to the top of the tower and they, they translate it across again through the white room and they start setting it down through the levels and, and move it down to the top of the rocket. At the bottom, you see what we call a direct mate adapter. It allows us to actually bolt the spacecraft and the transportation canner all as a unit right now on the rocket. It's handling a lot easier. What you're looking at now is they're starting to disassemble that cam. They, they can't quite get the whole thing off with the crane, but they go one, one level up and they pick the whole cylinder up off the top, just lift up right over top of the spacecraft and then set it back down and take it apart up in the white room. And then what you'll see right now is they're taking the bottom part, the, the leaves, and they disassemble it and remove it. That's uh, the conical sections coming off around right there. And then now they've got the bags coming off the spacecraft. It's got two or three bags on it that you can take off at different times in the flow as you get closer and closer to launch to get whatever dirt you've picked up. Now we've jumped ahead about 10 days, and we have a, all the bagging is off the spacecraft. We're lifting platforms in the white room, getting ready for putting the fairings on. This is a, an extended fairing. This is the first time we've launched the 10L fairing, which is uh, what's happened is they've extended the cylindrical section of the fairing to give you more room for spacecraft inside. 
and we're putting those fairings on around the, the satellites right now. It's a pretty picture. Both the spacecraft, all the bagging is off, and we're very close to a flight configuration here. It used to be a very large fairing compared to what I'm accustomed to seeing anyway. It's very long. It's actually the same overall total length as the normal fairing, but what you've done, you made it more blunt at the top and extended the cylindrical section. Get you a long uh, open area inside.